will be erased. And it's going to be very, very interesting to hear views on a huge number of decades the work of these women was not collected by institutions, and that was a conscious choice. Um, and luckily, those things are changing, staff are changing, it's <laughs> artists and women in revolt um, and you may have seen their work downstairs and if not come back again and um, go and find it. I don't want to talk too much about specific artwork tonight. I thought I would ask two questions um, and then we can kind of extrapolate them. When 50 Hells Angels had moved in and we went up in a pantechnicon to Edinburgh and we all got scabies and knights <laughs> and I had to go with a um, wheelbarrow and get eight gallons of scabies and lice lotion <laughs> and that was my sort of late 60s culture me i'm different <laughs> uh, i am not british i grew up in the bronx and my take was the metropolitan i think i my echo was really good <laughs> <laughs> So I, I had the equivalent of Metropolitan in New York. And, um, you know, from a very early age, this was, was one of the places that I just went to. You know, with my school pass and my, you know, just get on the train and go to wander around museums and galleries. I also went to an art high school and I am talking the 60s. And then I went to San Francisco. And who was uh, your best friend? <laughs> So just you made me feel. No. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I lived in San Francisco in the late 60s. I have, I have the scholars, um, I think, <laughs> what I can remember. And I did a lot of traveling back and forth. Um, came here initially in the 70s, 
And Sylvester did come back and drag me back to California. He said, ah. and um, I came back again. Uh, but it was uh, uh, one of the reasons I settled in London was I needed a city, and London is a, a fabulous city. I say it's like a a slow New York and a fast LA. <laughs> you know, so it, it has what I need for a city. It has public transport, uh, and it, 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 at that time it had the GLC and a really thriving art center. And not a center, but there were centers that you could create and that you could meet. And there was some sponsorship. Um, and the, the Bricks and Art Gallery is, is I always say, is this, this whole series of American movies there, Andy Hardy, and it's like, my dad has a barn, let's put on a show. And that's what the Bricks and Art Gallery was. We got the space, let's, you know, and we have, we have a whole year, so we need to have artists come and use, and we can facilitate them and teach them how to use the space. And, and so it was. It was a. It was a, a sharing space, and I don't think it was uh, ever an issue about working collaboratively. My collaborative. Oh, I was just going. Oh wow, it's the '60s in flashback. <laughs>